Yes guys, how are we? Um, it's Jermaine Francis here from Hatchley NFC on the way to Chigo School to play a rival side, Baytees. We know how big this game is. Um, a lot of players need to step up today in the Essex Corinthian Cup as well. Um, beat them in the league last time. Weren't, a, weren't an easy game. Today definitely won't be an easy game. But I'll see you lot there. Come down, support the boys. And yeah, have a good Sunday. Question though, this guy, what you don't want to message me back? I got too many fans, I got a lot of people to respond to. Game, big, Same. big game. How you been, brother? Big, this is like a big rival, big derby. Mm -hmm. So, must win. What are you expecting? Are you expecting to go through? I'm expecting to go through. I'm expecting a 3 0 hatch lane. 3 0 hatch three lane. Nil. Say no more. Are you doing it once you're at? Yeah. All right, okay, right. let's go. Man, like Will. Man. Sunday game. League football. You already know. We already introduced it. It's there. We got things going on here today. He's gonna get us banned on YouTube. You say. We got we got we got things going on here, Kev. So DJ? Yeah, cause it, cause it was my birthday. You know how we do this. Yes, yes. We got some, we got some if you guys don't know it's his birthday on Friday just gone. We got white rum. This is how we celebrate. You know, we got the Jackie Daniels. Mm -hmm. We've got everything going on here, vodkas, we've got juices, chocolates, everything, everything is here, everything is here, more juices. Okay. And inside here we've got sandwiches mm -hmm. and everything else. So today's a turn up day, you understand? Mm -hmm. Turn up day. We've got a minibus, what is that song? We've got a minibus. No one's what? driving today because nope. of the alcohol. So no we've, got yeah, yeah. we've got a minibus right here mm -hmm. <laughs> to the right. It's yeah, going to be that, that kind of day today, okay. that kind of day. Who's got some bread? Big game, big names. Open that them wallets. It's the warm up for the Baytees game, this is the cup game, so we're going to see how this thing set up right now. When you gonna be back? When we gonna see you back out here, fam? Oh, Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. All right. Bless up, brother. The, the younger generation. There's a younger generation just starting out now. Come on. The cats, man. How you feeling today, sir? I'm feeling good, right? Yeah? Yeah. It's hatch versus hatch. That's it. Come on. That's all it is. Come on, bro. Yeah. Very simple. How you feeling today, Jermaine? Yeah! Feeling yeah. good, actually. Feeling <laughs> good. <laughs> good. Step four player. Step four player. Come play on, bro. Feeling good. Bunnies, man, go yard. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Wax? How you feeling today, bro? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Let's get this win. You up for this? Yes. Always. Last time you was here, you had to play in goal for us. I mean, 1-3-1. Get me on the pitch today. Okay, let him see your quality still win today. Come on, bro. Three nil, three nil today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come on. I trust in, in Martin. We trust. In Martin, we trust. Say nothing. 
Mr. and LJ, how you feeling today, bro? Feeling good still. Ready for this one? Yeah, yeah, always ready, man. Come yeah, on, my yeah, G. Yeah, yeah, That's what I like to hear. How you feeling, so? I'm feeling good, you know. Maybe today I might get a few minutes, but definitely next time I'm playing, I yeah. can start, but not today. Okay, all we'll right, bro. Today, hopefully. All right, I hear that, I hear that. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're a quality song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every week's going to be difficult, but we rise yeah. to the challenge. That's, that's, why right. we, that's, that's, that's why what we do, you see? That's why we're currently unbeaten. Today's no different. We want to get, we want to win everything, so yeah. it starts now. So, it's good enough for me. 100. Yeah, 100. yeah but we know what we do. All right, first of all, let me name the team. All right, left back, Dane. Wackers, right back. Centre halves, Kevin, Steve. Yeah, three in the middle. Kirk, Ash, Kaz. Yeah, all right. Three up top. Erton, you go to the left. Jermaine, you do to the right. Kill. You go down the middle. We know how we do with our three. Kill. Sometimes, if, sometimes if we do it, if Erton's in the middle, come right, right. Yeah. Go left. We wait, 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 wait. So the yeah. three of you. But all right, yeah, very guys. simple. Don't, don't, you don't need two or three touches. You get the ball. You know where your players are. One time touch. Move again. All right. Keep the triangles. Keep it very simple. It's nothing hard out here. It's not rocket science. Just do what we need to do out here, play our normal football. Okay. Football wins the game here. And here we go, we're underway here in Chigwell. Our previous performance was a resounding victory. Well, I say resounding, we beat FC Baller 5-3, who was 5-0 up, and conceded three ridiculous goals in the space of four minutes. But we'll look to assure that up today with victory here, which will hopefully put us through to the next round of the Corinthian Cup. But tough opponents, once again, we're playing Baytees for the third time. Last season we played them, drew 1-1. Last outing, it was 3-1 to us. And third time around, they'll be looking for a better performance. Dane gets to the box, puts it in. Jermaine sets Kieran. Ooh, what's a good block there from the defender with Kev. Switches it over to Wackers. Wackers filling in at right back because there's no Trem or Tyler. It's with Wackers again. Big switch over to the left hand side. It's with Ayrton. Now, Ayrton couldn't quite beat their, their, their winger. We've got Kieran making his debut today as Lucio's out, our top goal scorer. Pivotal for Hatch. He scored, he scored a lot of our goals. It's with Ash. Ah, oh, Ash just tame effort to find Kieran. Don't know, don't know what that was actually. Was it a cross come shot with his right foot? The swinger. Didn't quite get enough purchase on it. It's with Steve. It's with Kirk. Kirk. Jermaine's made the forward run. Jermaine knocks it over Alex. Nope, he's still, yeah, he's still got it. It's with Ash. Now, Ash puts into the cross and again that couldn't find the target. Kirk, back to Jermaine. Jermaine, and that's a free kick to Hatch Lane. 17 minutes on the clock. Hopefully we can get something from this. Now, Kev's just gone over to Weckers. This is, this is in a dangerous position. We can utilize our players. Kaz is there the front post. Kev, oh, Kev couldn't get the connection. But really, Kaz should have made a better connection. Let's have another look at that. Wacker swings in a perfect ball. Kaz is free. No one's marked him. And he should have at least got that on target. If he got it on target, it could have been a goal. Goalkeeper is a bit shaky there. This is the third goalkeeper that they've played against us. Never seen this one before. Um, that's a great reverse ball to Sham. He looked like he was offside. Uh, should be getting close there. Ah, oh, but it's Kev's... Oh, look at that skill, it's brilliant. And it's with Martin. Martin today in the speed star, looking for some options. There wasn't no options on that occasion. To Ayrton. As I said, no Lucio, so we put Kieran up front. And Ayrton made his way over to the left-hand side. Now, Kirk to... How's uh, he offside? Hold on a second. We definitely have to, to see a replay because I'm pretty sure Jermaine's onside. Right, VAR coming to effect. He's onside. Look at their number 13 in the middle. He's playing Jermaine onside. This is ridiculous. This is what happens when you get a player to do the lino against your position. Now, Jermaine to Kaz. Kaz loses it there. 
and that's well. Oh, that's brilliant play from Kirk, 50-50 with Adi. It's come out on top as it's a hatch lane throw. Now Wackers to Ash, no one picked him up. Looking for a bit of movement, giving it away. It's giving it away and their players got options. It's a tidy reverse, it's with Sham. Sham, he's driving. No one's, no one's closing him down. Sham is allowed to drive into the penalty area. Great save by Martin. And the seconds is caught by Kaz. But that was a great save. It was too easy for him to get the effort on goal. He travelled a long way. Oh, their wingers in an advanced position. Is he going to be closed down? It's with Sham. He could once well, he couldn't get the connection. But Hatch Lane have been warned. Recycled from their number 11 to 17. Now Alex, closed down by Jermaine. That's good closing. Steve-O, steve has got the wrong side of Sham. Sham's through on goal. Oh, and Steven has given away a penalty. Yes, 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 it's a penalty to Beatty's. Ah, oh, five minutes before half time. Steve-O, I think the rules have been changed because in the back, I mean, back in the day, that would have been a red card. Now let's look at that. That's great forward play. And steve has deliberately brought him down giving away a penalty and Hatch Lane faced the prospect of potentially going 1-0 down. It's either that or Martin's going to be our saviour. Now, Steve, what's going to be the outcome? It's a yellow card. The referees brandished a yellow card to Steven. <sighs> and it's their striker who's stepping up. Now, what can we do? Is Martin going to save this? We're about to find out. Striker steps up. Band, to be fair, it's a great penalty. He put them into the top corner of the net and Hatch Lane find themselves 1-0 down just before half time. This is not what we wanted. We wanted to, you know exactly what we wanted. We wanted to keep it, you know, nice and tidy, nil-nil going into the second half, but we've conceded a goal and now we're playing catch up. Now, little lofted ball into their strike, into their winger, who's just come on recently. And once again, he's going nowhere because Kev is there to clean up and he finds a brilliant ball to Kaz. Kaz to Jermaine. Jermaine. Is he going to hit doubled up? No, Jermaine. Brought down by their number eight, I think it was. He was dishing out, you know, bookable offences all over the game, all over the shop. But for some reason, you know, the referee didn't want to brandish a yellow card there. Jermaine to Kev, Kev to Dane. Back with Kev, Ash, Dane. It's a nice neat spell from the boys. Jermaine, Kirk, Steve opens it up. Could have put it in front of Wackers, killed him there. But it's with Wackers to Ertz. It is good football, but is there going to be an outcome from this? Kirk puts it around the corner to Ayrton and, he, and it's away from their so-called janitor. Now, big switch to Jermaine. Jermaine, he's got a player right behind him, closing him down hard. It's with Kieran. Kieran, looking to burst into the box. Referee! Grab a hold of this, referee. I'm pretty sure that was on the line. Let's have another look at that. Kieran, he's brought down on the line. That's got to be a penalty. Referee, you know exactly what, what the rules are. Anyways, Ash and Ayrton step up. It looks like it's going to be Ayrton. Ayrton hits it. He hits the crossbar. It's off their goalkeeper's foot. Kev was there to pounce for the seconds, but it's come off the goalkeeper's foot. And Kev gives a dab to the goalkeeper because he knows how close that was. And just like that, the referee calls a halt and proceedings in the first half. It's Beatty's 1. It's Hatch Lane 0. Everyone's gone quiet now, all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Can only be That's, right. That's right. That's right. Because they're moving it around, we can't do it. Guys, guys. This is the, this is the worst I've seen you play. And it's called a penalty. Yeah. That's right. And it's a dumb penalty. Yeah, don't worry about it. Steve, Steve, Steve. That's good. Come. Guys, guys, quickly, call it in. Call it in. I'm saying, look, they're not. They're playing a good game. All right. I think we're allowing them to play the middle of the park. For me. All right. They're looking for a lot of diagonals. They're always trying to hit Sham. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes when I'm talking to my back line, I'm saying drop the midfield a little bit deeper sometimes in front of Sham. So he can't get that ball and bring it down. Once he brings that ball down, he's got options to play yeah, left yeah, or right. The friends are sitting it's, so it's, far back as well. Yeah, it's, it's not good enough. So what it is, we have to oh, either push. I, listen, we either have to push up 
or we have to call our defence and midfield in a little bit closer. I don't want Cham getting that ball no more. I've had enough of that, uh, getting him getting the ball. So let's make a change. Because we keep seeing the same thing reoccurring happening and we ain't changing it, then obviously that's on us. Hatch yeah, Hatch Lane will only beat Hatch Lane if we don't do the right things. We keep our shape, we play properly, we're fine. The middle of the park, it feels a bit light for me. Yeah? It feels a bit light. We've got to work a little bit harder. What, what I'm saying is... This I, hear, I hear that. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the issue is... Yeah, no, no, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm the, the issue is the presence of the ball. Yeah, yeah. Happening, so we've got to so shut the ramps. Okay. That, that is the issue. Like, when the ball goes over us, Jump. make sure we switch on for the second ball, please. Yeah, we're coming from their back line. They're not coming. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. 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 And we've got two to do with We have to squeeze. Yeah, they're on top to defend from the front. If they redefend from the front and press, they're not going to keep Alright, London florist is down the mount. If you want flowers for special occasions, your birthdays, your weddings, your Christmas, your Valentine's, head on down to the Instagram, you can see it right there at the London florist and get it for your missus. Culture pops. What do you know about alcoholic pops? If you're trying to get licked, summer occasions, birthdays, whatever event, Head on down to Culture Pops, get onto the website, you can see the Instagram right there in front of you. Get some Culture Pops and let's get twanging. Look at those watches, look at that jewellery. Rings, watches, anything that you might need. If you're trying to stun, if you want it on your wrist or your finger, flash time piece. Head on over to the Instagram, make a purchase, or just simply send them a DM and they'll get back to you as soon as possible with whatever bling that you need. Right, we're underway in the second half. Looking to rectify the first half's performance and Jermaine is brought down again by their right back, the number eight. And, yep, just like I said earlier, the referee's not going to do anything about it. He's going to call him over, but it's almost like a cat with nine lives. Geese is getting away with every single challenge. Alex, in acres of space, no Hatch Lane players bringing, you know, closing him down. And they've managed to get it out wide. Now it's with their left back. Ee, ee, ee. Jesus. Alex again goes inside. Midfield really have to start picking up some runners and they, they ring this through, they ring this through on goal. Is he gonna make it two? That's a great save by Martin. But Hatch Lane cut open very, very easily. Shouldn't really be happening with the talent that we've that we've managed to put out on display today. Even if there are players missing, it doesn't, it's not an excuse. Kev brings it out, looking to drive his team forward. It's with Ayrton. Nobody in front of him, but Ayrton, but Kevin's made the, the set the run and Ayrton couldn't find him. Little dink over the top could have been interesting. With half an hour to go. That's a big boot by there. Oh, I tell you what, Steve-O, he could be in trouble here. Steve-O's brought down Sham. Let's take another look at that. It's clumsy. Yes, it is clumsy. Is the referee going to do anything about it? He's not. Referee doesn't do anything about it, and the striker thought that he made it two, but he didn't make it two because he was offside. But definitely, Stephen should have been given a second yellow card and given his marching orders. Anyways, marching to Martin, Martin away. That's a great touch by the defender. Finds the pockets, and Wackers is caught wrong side of the of the winger, and it's two nil. It is finally 2-0 to them. They've scored their second goal. 65 minutes on the clock. Yes, as you can see, they're celebrating. It is the World Cup final. I mean, sorry, it's their second goal. And the left midfielder makes it two. It's flipped on. And Dominic's on the pitch now. He's come on for Ash, who's... Broke his hand or something. It's a free kick in a promising position for Hatch. We know what happened the last time we was in this position. Oh, they've decided to play it short. And Kieran puts in the cross. No one could get on the end of that. Jermaine looking for some options, but he's crowded. They've got two players looking to keep him at arm's length. And with Kev, Kev puts in a wicked cross and the referee claims he was offside. Not quite sure about that, even though the referee was standing in the penalty area. He claims that we was offside, but... 
Kev's not really too happy about that one. Think over the top. And Kieran's got an open goal. Kieran fails to find the target. All he had to do was pull it on target and it would have been 2-1 and game on. Kaz has lost out here to the high press and no one's closing him down. It's a great save by Martin. If it wasn't for Martin, it could have been, it could have been a long day, I'll tell you that much. Big switch by Dominic to Jermaine. Now Jermaine, one-on-one -on -one with number 70. What's he going to do? Cuts inside and he's troubled the goalkeeper, but he couldn't pull it at, a, at an angle where the goalkeeper couldn't quite get there. And um, well pulled down by Kev to Dom. Patch really needs to show some urgency here if they're looking to get back into this. Two goals just to get, just to make it interesting and potentially, I tell you what, little dink over the top by Dom. Edson, only the goalkeeper. What happened there? Terrible touch. It's with Kev again saving his team. Now looks to quicken up the pace. Gives it to Kieran. Kieran, one, two. Kev to Don. Ah, oh, this is brilliant play. Kieran gets to the byline, puts in a cross. Who is in the six yard box? Nobody's there. Oh, dying embers of the game. Free kick comes in and it's nowhere. And the referee pulls calls a halt to proceeding. It's finished Beatty's to Hatch Lane zero. This is not the result that we wanted. We crash out of the Corinthian Cup and on the, to be fair, we were beaten on the day by the better team, but nevertheless, we move on. There's other competitions that we're participating in this season and we'll look to go far in those competitions, starting with the league next week. We return to action against Eastway Athletic. Thank you for showing your support today in Chigwell for the boys. Make sure you bring yourself down to Fairlock next week as we're back at home, back at our fortress. I'll leave you with some interesting comments from the changing room. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to keep up with all of our latest news, follow us on our socials. Or if you'd like a copy of the 90 Minutes or if you'd like to appear on one of our episodes, simply pop us an email to the email address above, which is info at hatchlanefc.co.uk. We'll see you next week. Boys, let this be a humbling experience for us. Man. Yeah, they, yeah. They felt, it, they felt it when we batted them. Yeah, yeah. So, so, it, let this be a humbling experience. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, we've, been, we've been on unbeaten runs. Yeah, like, we, take the, we take the loss and we move on. But I'd rather them face them again in the league and beat them in the league than the cup. The one thing that hello, hello, guys. Mr. One minute. For me, we came here with a negative attitude in a sense. When I say negative attitude, it's like we came here feeling like we're superior to them. We're going to deal with them anyway. And, 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 and it was that kind of attitude that we had. We came out nonchalant, we didn't come out, we didn't warm up properly, we get here late. Yep. So all these things are factors going to work against us. Unless we do the right things, then expect the wrong things. You understand? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That's exactly what's happening out here. So make this be a lesson to us today, that Beatties can laugh at us today. And they're entitled to that because they were better than us on the pitch. I'm not going to deny that. They were better than us today. It's because we let ourselves down. We didn't want it like they wanted. We thought we were going to just stroll in and win the game. It don't work like that. So make this today be a lesson to everybody. If you don't want it, if you, don't want it, if you, can't, if you can't make it and you can't play properly, tell us, let's find someone else to replace you. That's how serious it is. Because I don't come here to lose no games. I don't come, I don't come out of my bed to waste no time. I don't expect anybody to come here to waste their time. And I want every single man here to have a post-mortem. I don't want to fucking hear it was this man didn't do that, this man didn't do that, this man didn't do that. Fucking tell me what you didn't do. They run that midfield. Who am I going to blame? One man? The whole of the midfield, collectively as a midfield, we got at midfield. No, everything, be honest. Like Action, yeah, at the back. No problem. Let us know the situation so we can find an alternative. But when we come here and we're short-handed, or man's injured and we've got issues, it's going to create a problem for us. So until we address that, this is what's going to happen to us. So let this be a lesson to us today. I don't want to feel like this again. I don't like it. I'm not coming to lose no game. I'm not, none of you guys come here at your bed to waste time. So if we're going to come here and do this, let's do it properly. Let's be attentive. Let's get here early. Let's warm up and do the right things.